Morning everyone, I hope you're all really, really well. Today, I'm gonna to share with you one of my mom and my nan's finest recipes. And I'm so privileged to be part of the 4th of July cookout recipes. Um, I am late, I'm a day late to the party, but the girls have understood. So you'll have to follow all of them and uh, look at their videos. They'll all be linked down below in the description box, but I'm so excited. So join me at the side of the intro. Um, let's cook up a storm, me cooking in the kitchen. Is this a first? <laughs> See you after the intro. You ready? Hit it, maestro! She asked me, um, I think it was before Christmas, she asked us. And then all of a sudden, I think it was June, she put a post up saying, don't forget. And we were all like, woo! Woo! Mm, I'd forgot. And because everything's just gone so crazy with the Primark pickups and what have you, um, yeah, I just didn't have a chance to get it up yesterday. So I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I'm late to the party, but hopefully it'll be worth it. And at least I can actually link the girls' videos, the actual videos, so you can go and find them. Now, there's six of us that have taken part, so go and look at the video links down in the description box and give them some love because they've really worked their butts off to get this out on time, unlike some of us. <laughs> we won't say anything more about that. So what recipe have I got in store for you? Well... The Ohana restaurant in the Polynesian well, mm, that is not bread pudding. Mm. I'm sorry if it offends you, I am sorry, but the first time I had it, I was like, is that it? Is that it? I don't think, well, there was only one or two bananas and they got that sauce on top and it was so rich. Whereas mine is a good old British recipe that was passed down from my nan to my mom and to me. And there's a little story about this bread pudding. Um, my mum used to make it as a child and she'd leave it on the centre of the, the dining room table with a tea towel over it to let it cool before we could eat it. Um, her and dad <laughs> used to go to Asda and she, you know, nine times out of ten she'd do it on the monthly shop day when they'd be in Asda for a couple of hours. Um, Asda is like our Walmart. And uh, when they came back, this dreadful thing had happened in our house. The mice, the mice had eaten it. <laughs> Five foot nine ugly mice. <laughs> and the thing is, I never ate the edges. I just ate the centre because I don't, I'm not a crust girl. I like crust with butter. Mm. But the crust, I didn't. Mm. So I used to cut the middle out and I used to have as much as I knew I could get away with. Um, <laughs> another time I used to get told off now they just think it's hilarious so yeah so it's one of my favorite things and I haven't made this in years yeah 15 15 years I haven't made it so um this is gonna be interesting and it's gonna start summer off isn't it because yeah it is so then you ready let's get started so this is in my best scrawly writing from oh I don't know how many decades ago so this is what you need you need one light loaf and it's uh, white bread, four ounces of sugar, a beaten egg, half a pound of sultanas, half a teaspoon of mixed pudding spice, a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg, half a pound of margarine, caster sugar for liberal sprinkling on top, and then it goes into the recipe. So what we're going to do is we're going to melt the margarine in the tin. So the tin that I cook it in. <laughs> cut in chunks and melt in oven. See, that's a very technical term, isn't it? Whereas nowadays, I suppose we could melt it in the microwave. Soak the bread in water and squeeze it out until it's like a wet dough. Then we add all the ingredients, blend them together, put the mixture in the tin and sprinkle lots of caster sugar on top. And it takes just under two hours at 195 degrees. Now that's quite simple, even I can do that. So you ready? Let's get cooking. 
Right, so the first thing I'm doing is I'm putting my gloves on because I've got my lovely dipped nails, but with all good nails, yeah, I don't want them in this. <laughs> so I always put this on. So I've got a loaf, just got a white normal loaf. I've got my um, Kenwood bowl, so I'm going to put it in there and I'm just going to put the bread in and I'm just going to soak it in some water. That's a bit weird, isn't it? <laughs> get it in there, shove it in. Oh, the smell of fresh white bread. It's got no, you know, goodness to it, but it smells nice. Then all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pour some water and I'm just going to leave it to soak here. This is a good recipe because the kids can help you with this. And we're going to wring it all out in a bit. There's not a lot. I'm just going to weigh out all the ingredients. A bit more in, I think. What do they say? Don't play with your food. <laughs> oh, this is like, you know, and it's like really soft as well. But I have got my gloves on. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. So we want it all nice and soaked in. Oh, this is very rewarding. <laughs> oh, this is really rewarding. Right, okay. So I'm just gonna leave that to soak for a little bit while I wait everything else out. So I've weighed all the ingredients out, but first, this bread. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to squeeze it. Is there a simpler way? <laughs> I mean, the kids would love this when they squeeze the water out. That's one. And the next. And just keep going. I've just cheated. I've got a sieve. <laughs> I thought this might be easier. I wonder how my mum does it. I wonder if she squeezes it. I know Dad cooks it now, I think. Does Mum do it? I think Dad cooks it now. They did one the other day. After cooking for so many years, because my mum, well, both my mum and Dad are in their 80s, you know, she's just had enough of cooking. It's understandable, isn't it? So Dad does the cooking and he enjoys it. And he loves to bake. He likes coconut cakes. He loves cherry cakes. Now that's easier. Some more out. I mean, we need some water in it, obviously, because we want it to be moist, but we don't want lots. If you've had a bad day at work, <laughs> the kids are annoying you, your husband's annoying you. Your wife's nagging. <laughs> right, that will suffice. Right, so let's get rid of the last bits. The bowl's messy, but it doesn't matter, does it? It's going to get messier still. Right, let's pull the rest of that in. Plop it all in. There's bits off the bottom. Oh, those are wet, really. Okay, let's put the other bits in added by hand. Gosh, what a mess. <laughs> so I've got the margarine here. Instead of doing it in the oven, I'm going to put it in the microwave. I've just used flora, uh, flora buttery. So, yes, yeah, so I'm going to put that in the microwave. Just lightly. Light temperature. 
Then it said one beaten egg, so I've got this lovely golden egg and a trick. I always use a little mini um, whisk. I just find that really, do you know, it's so funny me giving cooking tips, isn't it? And in it goes. I like, I like this, and all in one bowl. Now, I've got my sultanas, but I've actually put in more than it said, because, yeah, I don't ever stick to anything. Um, and in there, it was the mixed pudding spice. So it's this mixed spice here. And then also some nutmeg. And I'll type the recipe down below if you want the recipe. So there's those in there. So I'm going to put all of that in there now. Yes, in we go. So that's in there. Then it wanted sugar. So here's my sugar going in. See how our butter is. Not quite nearly. And I've realised now why it was that we needed to melt the butter in the tin. It's so that it's all greased, isn't it? So I'm going to, when I've done this, I'm going to wish it round the tin to make sure it's greased before I put it in the mixture. So the butter's all in the, the tin. So I'm just going to swish it round, make sure it's all lined. I mean, they're greaseproof tins now, aren't they? But um, just do it, and then I'm going to pour it in. All that golden goodness. And I bought a new tin, especially for the occasion. <laughs> so now we're going to put this on. I've got my K-beater on. We're just gonna mix it. Done. How hard is that? So now I'm going to empty that into my tin. So then I'm just going to squish it all flat. Is that word? Squish it all flat? I mean, come on, there's a bit of excess butter there, so I'm just mixing that in a bit. I mean, look at this. Oh, right, so now we've done that, I'm going to sprinkle liberal amounts, it said liberal amounts of caster sugar on the top. And you know, it wouldn't be me if I didn't follow a recipe to tip the tea. So, a spoon. And what you're doing is you're putting a crust on it. That's a nice crust on this. Because the actual cake itself isn't too... Um, sweet but this as you bite into it gives you the sweetness so I think that's enough I think if I put any more on we're all going to she says get a bit more out. right there we go that's not a hard recipe is it so that's going in the oven at 195 degrees centigrade for an hour and 50 minutes so I'll see you the other side it's cooked <laughs> inside the oven it's sat over there i made a cup of tea and uh yeah i think it's time to do a bit of taste testing and show you the results don't you you ready so here we have it and the way i tested it was i put the knife in and if it came out clean it was done um so yeah maybe five minutes over <laughs> i have to cook everything me so i have a knife and uh we're gonna cut it i don't know if i can cut it can you, can you, that's the sugar, there's no calories in sugar, so let's cut a piece. This is an art in itself. I remember as a child I never, never, never used to eat the crusts. Oh, 
So if you've got a smaller pan, it would be deeper. So I think I'd do that next time, but look. Look at all that goodness. Oh my word, look at all of that goodness. Let's go and take it to my cup of tea and do a taste test. Right, I put my glasses on and, um, oh yeah, yeah. You meant to let it go really cold. It's, it's like warm because I couldn't wait, really. delicious it's the soft but bread bread and then you've got the crispy sugar on the top I tell you what oh Hannah you need this re recipe that's for sure and then a cup of tea oh that's really nice <laughs> why have I left it this long to make another one I hope you have a wonderful 4th of July I know I'm not American, but in my heart I am. Have a wonderful day, and maybe some of you will try this. It's just something nice, isn't it, to have on the afternoon while you're watching TV, or I don't know if there's a, a baseball game or whatever's going on. That's really delicious. Next time, I think I'd put more in or do a thicker tin so that it's a thicker, thicker wedge, but it's beautiful. I hope you enjoyed it. You'll enjoy that if you make it, that's for sure. Be good, be kind, take care of yourselves. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now, everyone. Bye.